just saved to go back to heaven. We were saved to take this world or to be the vehicle by which Yahweh will take this world back to Satan and bring him, bring him back under his dominion. Hallelujah. And that is something that is, I don't think, grip the believer's soul has been given this mandate yet. And heaven will hold him until everything yes. the church or the prophet has prophesied will yes. happen yes. takes place. And so in the spirit of the prophetic, your pastor speaks. So I listened to Elder Johnson prayed as he would pray every morning in this church. He prayed that the church will understand that the spirit of the prophet will rest upon the members and followers of this church that they will hold his hand up speaking about me because he needs it and he prayed his prayer with me and my in the office there i know if he think i could hear or not but he was talking with me in his prayer so when he came and i thank him and i bless yahweh for the words that he prayed because how many know that the prophetic work is not an easy work? The prophetic work is not an easy work. And most of the time, if you check the scriptures, the work of prophecy is always this package. Yes. You have to become a little bit fool to do the work of Yahweh and walk in the in office of the prophet. Come on, somebody. And so, that is so because the things he would speak normally most of the time, it is not common. No, it's not. No. It is not flowing with what you will normally normally hear coming from the yes. churches. Not popular, no. no. The prophet was never popular That's from right. the scripture. That's right. They would always kill the prophet. Yeah. Because they would always talk things that would bring the home or judgment or... Yeah. You know, you want, you really want to see a prophet. Check the scriptures here. Most of that message hadn't had had any. Every, in other, let me put it this way. Most of that message had to do with judgment. That's right. They always got a bad word yeah. for a king or for the, the nation. What they <laughs> and they would just rule them out. Yeah, right. Well, we are here in our nation at the time where Yahweh now wants to do the same thing. We have been set aside by Yahweh to do a great work in the earth. Hallelujah. Yes, we are. For the last two weeks, I was standing in your presence. And I began to tell you of the fact that a mandate is upon the church, the Gentile church, to provoke the nation of Israel to jealousy. I haven't said what that jealousy means, but today we're going to look at the things that God will do through the Gentile church to provoke the nation of Israel to jealousy. See, the quicker we know what these things are, the quicker we can hasten his coming to earth. Because he cannot return it. I don't care how much we spit of ourselves, how much we worship and praise, how much we get drunk and feel good and go home, he cannot come until all of his prophecy or the word spoken by his prophet is fulfilled. Yes, that's the word. So the sooner we understand that heaven and earth can't pass away and that all the words is spoken come to pass, the sooner we'll get with what we are supposed to be doing as a church. Hallelujah. 
And it's a five-fold approach you have is taken to bring in wholeness to the body of the Messiah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to speak from the way that he's called me to. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I want to finish this, 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 I want to wind up these, this, this, um, this series that I started, this short mini one, with regards to the provocation of the nation of Israel to jealousy. I said to you over the last two times I stand here on this topic, that God said that he will raise up a nation because Israel has provoked him to jealousy. And that jealousy was idolatry to begin to serve other gods. And he said that I will raise up a people who is no people and a nation who is not a nation. And I will work through them and cause you to do some things. We're going to look at some of those things that he will do today. Okay, we're going to look at some of those things that he said he will do to the church before he can come back. Hallelujah, somebody. All right? And so we begin to look at the prophecy through Paul the Apostle, whom the mystery was given. And we see Paul quoted directly from the book of Isaiah, when he began to talk about, when he was preaching to the Gentiles, and in starting his ministries, and the Gentiles and the Jews to gather on the day of the Sabbath in the congregation. And the whole nation, the whole city, will come out to hear Paul, as he would minister to them. And he said to them, look, the Jews began to get jealous based on some of the things that Paul was saying. What are some of the things Paul was letting them know? Look here. The Gentiles are partakers of the same thing that you are partakers. They could believe that the Gentiles could partake in that of Abraham's seed because they felt that God only belongs to them. But now Paul is saying, oh, no, no. He come that all men might be saved. Jews and Gentiles. And he quoted from a prophecy in Isaiah. And I said to you that when he quoted from the prophecy, he only quoted a part of the prophecy. He did not quote it all of the prophecy. Let us begin by revamping what I said to you before, and this will be a foundation where I will continue to build and bring a talk to as we move into Pentecost. As you know, Pentecost starts next week. And so we begin Pentecost. But let us go to Isaiah 49. No, no, let's go to Acts chapter 13, 46 first. And let's go to Isaiah 49. Those two scriptures. Go to Acts 13 first. And let's, let's see what Paul was saying. And I want to show you that he, he left or he prophesied and he spoke of the apostolic side, but he didn't. He didn't, he didn't spoke to the prophetic side. Okay? And this is very important. Um, not too much, not too much. Acts. How many know some people can't walk in sugar? <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. yeah, Here is Paul now. Uh, to the Gentile tree. 46. 13 and 46. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God, Elohim, should first, everybody say first, first, how being spoken to you, but seeing you put it from you and judge yourself worthy of everlasting life, unworthy of everlasting life, lo, be turned to the Gentiles. For so, had the Lord Yahweh commanded us, saying, and this is what we're going to look at, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord, and as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. They believed what Paul was saying, and they receive eternal life. What I want to put out here it is the statement you might see in your word is capitalized in the 47 words when Paul quoted. I have said thee, I have said thee to be a light of the Gentiles that you should be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. I have a friend when we, I began to tell him about the provocation of the nation of Israel to jealousy, he will always say that that light 
is speaking about Yeshua. That is not speaking but nobody other than Yeshua. Make the light is about Yeshua, man. You can't see that, about, that is about Yeshua. Well, the question is, if it wasn't about Yeshua coming into the world, why Paul, who's getting saved years after Yeshua oh coming to the world, right. is quoting this prophecy? Yes. Why? He is saying that the nation, not Yeshua, going to be the light. He's calling the believers to be a light, yes. all right, to the Gentile nation. All right, he's saying, I have said thee to be a light. Paul was literally talking about himself, the church. I've called thee to be a light to the Gentile. Now remember now, Paul was a Jew. Paul wasn't a Gentile. But Paul and his writing, what we have now, what we read, is the light that he is talking about. We have that light in our hand. We have that understanding in our hand. Paul wrote his letters and it became a light to us. He's a Jew. Salvation is of the Jew. We believe what Paul said. All right? But the Gentile has a word. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to keep your hand and see what that work is that the Gentile will do. Go to Isaiah 46. As I said, Isaiah 49, sorry. As I said, he quoted a part of that prophecy. It's very important. All right? Isaiah 49 and 6 said, And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel. I will also give thee for a light. This is what Paul quote. I will also, I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the ends of the earth. So there's two things mentioned here. Paul said, I will also give thee for a light. But what is the other thing before he said also? The other thing is that he said, it is a light thing, this is by as I prophesy, that thou shouldest be my servant, and this is the, the other thing, to raise up the tribe of Jacob, that's Israel, that's true. and to restore that's the true. preserve of Israel. Yeah. That's the other thing. Not only to be a light to the Gentile, and Paul was preaching salvation, but the Gentile now will be raised up to be a, uh, to preserve Israel, the house of Israel. In other words, to provoke them to jealousy and cause them to come back to the Almighty. The restoration here is to restore the reserve of Israel, all right, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the reserve of Israel. And I will also give thee to the Gentiles to be to set to, to be to, to, to the Gentiles as a light. So they will be the light, and they will also play a role in the restoration of Jacob, or the restoration of Israel back to Elohim. Why? Because as we know today, Israel as a nation is blind. Hallelujah. Okay. Israel is waiting for the church, the light of the church, in a great way to shine forth. But unfortunately, the, the church that we have is so Christianized. It is not the church that has been raised up at Jerusalem. Or the church that has been born at Pentecost. The church that is today, as a matter of fact, the church at Pentecost, you know, when you look to the church at Pentecost right now, the church is in the dispensation of the Gentile. Come on, somebody. Okay. We, the, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is all over the earth. But the focus of the Holy Spirit, like Paul said, is in the di dispensation of the Gentile. Until the Gentiles be what? Come to an end. Or the, until the Gentile era or dispensation end. The Gentile era of dispensation goes along with the dispensation of grace. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. Where Yahweh now is trying to save all of the world to come into him and, and, and accept Yeshua, the Messiah. That's the dispensation of grace. That will come to an end. And then Yahweh will go back to the nation of Israel. But before he go back to the nation of Israel, because he blinded them so he could come in, we have to do a work that will cause them to come by faith. Because see, under the old covenant, they did it according to the law. They did it according to work. They worked for their salvation. Yes. We have to what? Believe unto righteousness. So Yahweh want the Gentile now, then they come, we believe unto righteousness. They have also to believe unto righteousness. And if the church whose mandate is to bring the gospel so clear, 
to help them to see what, what has been turning off the Jews is that there's some things in the church that Satan has put there to bother them that is causing them not to be able to see the church in its splendor. Hallelujah. And so in this last hour and hour, what the Holy Spirit is going to do, move the spots and the ring up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He's going to move the guy so that his people could see the church in the Gentile somewhere. Yeah. The light must shine. Muscle. And this light also will shine so that other nations will see. See, because this light is going to shine from a place. Yeah. This light yeah. is going to shine from a people. Mm. I said to you that the place, as I looked at these scriptures, I know is the Isles of Sea. Because when you look at Isaiah 49, 1 to 6, you say, listen to Isles. I call you to be my servant. You go to Isaiah 40, 60 Isles. All of us, they go into the enzyme, we see that the aisles and the enzyme has the same characteristic. Both the aisles, all right, and the uh, and the enzyme, and he said he would raise it to the nation, they all are in a location described as from far. Both the aisles and the Gentile and the enzyme, they're all situated on the top of the mountains. Hallelujah. So we see the characteristic of these two places, the eyes and the enzyme. Because the enzyme is the standard that Yahweh will use to cause the nations to look to a place. Or the enzyme, where they will say, oh my God, what's going on over there? Why are these people are so blessed? The blessings of Abraham will be on them physically. Hallelujah. 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 They will be walking in spirit and in truth. For a short time. This is the mandate of the Gentile church. Hallelujah. But what Satan has done divided us, conquered us, deceive us. Alright? And we have all kind of state. No, no, no. That ain't gonna work. We have all, we call them all kind of blasphemous name. That ain't gonna work. No. Alright? So God now, Elohim, is raising up a people and a place and a nation. Let's go to Isaiah 55. And we're now going to look quickly at some of the things that will happen in this nation. Because it is a nation book. Just like the scripture say, Moses and Isaiah say, he raised up a people and a people and a nation. Amen. Now, Isaiah, Peter, first Peter, not two and I talks about the church being a nation. But they, they didn't study beyond the fact that in some context it's not speaking to a spiritual nation. It is speaking to a literal nation as well. And I'm going to show you. Look at Isaiah 55. And 5. Father said he will do what? He said he will what? Raise up a nation that will cause other nations to come to him. Isaiah 55. Behold, thou shalt call a nation, a single nation, this is not the church. This is a physical nation. Thou will call a nation that thou knowest not. And nations, nations that knew not thee shall run on to thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. We see all through the book that the, the isles, the people glorify his name in the islands. We see here where the scriptures say to us that Yahweh will call a nation. And because what he will do with this nation, other nations. May I suggest to you that other nations include all of the Gentile nations as well as Israel. Not all of them are going to believe, but some of them is going to come as a result of the nation. All right? And that's why when we go to Isaiah 11, 11, go there quickly with me, please. Isaiah 11, 11. We see, we see here, uh, 10, what's there? And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse coming from the church. 
which shall stand for the ensign of the people. The stand for ensign, that's a beacon, that's a banner, that's a light, that's a nation that is set out for other nations to see. To it shall the Gentiles see. My friends say, that's, that's Yeshua, that it is Yeshua. I said, no. Yeah, to it, not to him, to it shall the Gentiles see. That's our light. That's our beacon. That's a nation that stands out above other nations. And it went on that the, it, 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 it said, and his rest shall be what? Glorious. Because he will glorify the place. And it shall come to pass in that day, same day, that the Lord shall what? Set his hand again the what? The second time to recover the remnant of his people. So we see now that nation is going to be used in Yahweh bringing Israel back the second time unto him. Because the first time they rejected him. But that was Yahweh. He allowed it. They didn't believe Yeshua was Messiah. He came to his own, his own rejected him. But we know there was a mystery Paul talks about that why God allowed it. So that through our mercy, they may receive mercy. Hallelujah. Now we allow that to be so. But now we have not been doing things in the church because the church is packed up by to go. Yahweh is speaking through the blood moon over our heads right now. And he has marked his blood moon by his Passover and his feast of tabernacle. For the last 10, 15, 20 years of my life, all he did to me when he called me is unveil, and I understand now, his times and his season, third day, and taught at the all and all the people feasts of tabernacle and holy days. Because what he wants to do is tie up in his feast and his holy days. It marks his timing. It let us know when he is going to come. He, he, he let us know that in his feast days are his plan of salvation. Yes. And you will not understand his plan of salvation. I wait from understanding his feast days. I don't care what you do or how you study the word. Because mm -hmm. it's set up in, this, in his holy days. They're Yahweh holy days. They're not Israel holy days. That's why when he set up his kingdom, the last one will be all nations will observe it. Come on, somebody. All nations will come and observe the Feast of Tabernacle. All nations. All nations will, yeah. will come before him when he set up his kingdom from Sabbath to Sabbath. But we say all that is done away with. It is done away with because we have a Babylonic system in the world that is destroyed. Right. But when he judged the system, he will put it back in the earth. Yeah. He's going to put back his system in the earth. But he allowed Babylon. So the scripture says Babylon has fallen. Babylon has fallen. Okay. When Babylon has fallen, when Yahweh set up the kingdom, the words of all the nations, oh. all flesh, yeah. will now come because I'm going to put my right sword back in the earth. Hallelujah. But for me, from Sabbath to Sabbath, they never said from Sunday, whether we like it or not, this is the day Yahweh has God. set aside, put up a bar and heal and, and cause it to to be a, a day that is how for his use and his use only. We cannot change that. No. He did it before the law. He did it at the very beginning in, in the first seven days. He take this day what we live in and hallowed it. Hallelujah. Long before the law was given. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. It is his day. Yes, it is. It's his holy day. He set him aside. And the revelation of this day is bigger than the 24 hour season. It has to do with an era that is upon us now. That one day of rest, which is the millennium. And until we reach there, we come to this day and we know we are traveling. Hallelujah. Traveling. We are traveling. We are traveling yes. to that promised land. Yes. Hallelujah. Where we have a thousand years coming up every season in the Feast of Tabernacle. Every nation. And coming before him on the Sabbath. But they tell us, and they Paul and write them things off, man. Paul said these are shallow things. So come. The ordinances, the things that they do in those days, is done away with it. But the spirit of what he wanted to teach us is yet to be fulfilled. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. You see? And so that kingdom now must come. So what Yahweh is doing is looking for people in the Gentile nation. Who can walk in these truths? Yes, come on. Walk. Who can walk and establish a nation 
and thereby these truths will be established yes. in. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is why when we look back in the history of our nation, we see the holy days equivalent with the land of Israel holy days. That's one of the things see, that really put in the history of the land. He put that there. We see the forefathers so lending off the building when he come to power the first thing he did was take the Sabbath yes. and cause it to be first thing, yes. huh? a day in this nation where you can keep it. Yes. See, anytime a government establishes something, don't care what people do on it, you know there's no government office to be open on Saturday. No. No. The nation, but the liberty must be still given to the people to do what they want on it. But the government has, has sanctioned the Sabbath as a day because when they came to power, everybody, you know, the government office opened up on a day. So God was working in the history of the nation long time. Yes. He has raised me up as a voice to connect the dots with way back, not Christopher Columbus, but beyond. Not only beyond Christopher Columbus, but beyond Adam. Beyond. Because we go into the pre adamic time. And when we go into the pre adamic time, we understand that Columbus coming here in 1492 was to cause us to understand what this place is, why God allowed him to come here, because he said, love God, share him there, the new heaven and earth will be, and he showed him where to find it. And he came here in the feast of what? The tabernacle, when Israel would celebrate the, the creation of the world. These are no coincidence. It is because this place is set out in prophecy. And this place is indeed the islands that the prophet Isaiah spoke about. Yes. See, Yahweh wants a righteous nation yes. in the earth. Yes. He wants a righteous nation with me, within the earth. Let's go to Isaiah 42 and be sure. Yahweh wants a righteous nation in the earth. And that righteous nation could be that nation that will show forth his glory. Hallelujah. Is it is that righteous nation. No, 26. 26. I want to share some things with you. I'm going to go up there. Isaiah 26. Let's read the first two verses. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. Judah is sometimes about the experience. We have a strong city. Salvation will be Elohim a point for walls and bulwarks. Now here's our focus. Open up the gates. Come on, open, open. That the what? Righteous, righteous nation. nation. Open up the gate that the righteous nation which keep it the what? True. Come true. on. True, true. We read in the psalm of the day that the Father said, I will get those who approach me in truth. Yeah. You know, one of the reasons why the church is so weak, because they don't have the truth. As we all of them. None of us have all of the truth. But it's the truth that will make the people free. The evidence of the fact that we're not free tells us we don't have the truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, he is. And it's the truth that will make you free. Yes. You never see someone bonded in the whole world. Why? Because you understand that the church, as good as it may be, Yahweh allowed to be in Egypt. Just as he allowed the children of Israel to be in Egypt for 400 years and took them out. And the time came and he said, look, we got to go to the promised land. Well, the same thing is happening here. Our 400 years is over. I believe in 2011, 400 years after the English, the first uh, translation of the King James scripture in 1611 to English, that tells of a time when we receive, in English, a lot of deception. Like, for example, his name. The name in his book that they give us is not his name. No. Come on, somebody. That is not, and his name is what Yahweh wants to glorify in the earth. Yes. It is his name yes. that is important to him. The seven days of Venice run away with the Sabbath. Does that represent the hand, the seed, the hand, the sign? But the seed in the head, the name, is what is important to Father Yahweh. Yes. And Satan 
was attacking that name from the time the church started. On the day of Pentecost, remember the Holy Spirit said, Go ye baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now the church was birth. Satan was attacking the name. And if you follow on, you'll see that, hey, they used to breathe in the virus, they would come to him and say, Look, in what name did you do this? In what name did you do that? And they would say, In the name of Yeshua, not Jesus Christ, in the name of Yeshua, Messiah. Be cast on this. And they said, didn't we tell you or not to use that name? And they'll beat them and they'll flog them for using that name. Paul, the one who we are is talking about, persecuted the church and killed Stephen them for using the name. Because he never know, all he knows is Yahweh. And all of a sudden they talk about Yeshua and the name of Yeshua. Huh? People getting saved and this whole new fresh set coming out. This man just dead. And, 450 days after he done gone and stuff like that, these people calling his name and doing all kinds of miracles in his name. Man, that said, Helen Paul, Paul started working for, for the Pharisees and the Sadducees and killing up the believers. Because they used that name, the scripture tell you that. How many know we're back here again? So, the, the point I'm making, Yahweh is called the church. And you set aside. The islands to glorify his name. He said that he will take a people out. Let's go to Acts. Sometimes you be in the Old Testament. A lot of times let's go to Acts. Acts chapter 15. Acts chapter 15. Chapter 15 and um, verse 14. Before we go here, keep your hand here. Don't move your hand. Keep your hand to Acts 15. I want you to go to 2 Chronicle. I'm going to share this at the same time. 2 Chronicle, chapter 6. I think it's 1 Chronicle. How many of us sometimes you know, preach the word? And how you prepare it sometimes will never be the way it comes across. Hmm? You, 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 Minister Lloyd, you have experienced that? You lay the whole sermon. And when you present it, Minister Mary, you experience that? Minister Mary, Minister, 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 talk about it all the time. Do you lay the whole sermon and he said, now nah, let me do this the way how I want to do it. <laughs> Elder Johnson, you have experienced that? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say you can start with in the beginning? You end with that. Okay. Second Chronicle chapter 6. And we stay in tree. When the temple, Sister Lewis, Solomon Temple was finished building, Solomon began to pray. This is, this is in the old covenant. I want to show you how powerful this name is. 632. Here is a part of Solomon's prayer. He said, Moreover, concerning the stranger, everybody say stranger. They are not, they are not Jews. See, the, the, the strangers and the and the Gentile was always mixed with the Jews, you know. When they came out of Egypt, how many know that a lot of the Gentiles came out of Egypt? With the Jews. It was always a mixed race of people coming out of somebody. Mixed multitude. Always a mixed multitude. Straight through. Same thing with the church. Mixed multitude. Yahweh heart was for always for all people. Always for all people. So now the temple is being built. All right? And we see a part of the, 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 the Solomon prayer. Moreover, concerning the stranger which is not of thy people, Israel, but has come from a far country for thy what? Great name's sake. And thy mighty hand. And thy stretch your arm. If they come and pray in this house, listen, then hear thou, O Father, from heaven, even from thy very place, and do according to all that the stranger call it to thee for, that all people, say all people, all people, all people of the earth may know 
Rahini, and Jamie has got the people Israel. Uh -oh. And they know that this house, which I have built, is called by me. Yes, Lord. It was always Yahweh's intention that all the earth know his name. Yes. But you see, Israel failed to idolatry. They would never do it the way Yahweh tells them to do it. They would always go about it their way. Not Yahweh's way. So when the time comes, Acts 15, we hear verse 14, they were contending over circumcision in the church. They were saying Moses was circumcised. And they went on to talk about other things. But here is the contribution of Simon in verse 14 to the argument. Simon had declared how God at first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them, who them? Come on now. A people for his name. One of the mandate of the Holy Spirit is to take out of the Gentiles a people for his name. You know all Gentiles will be saved. There's some people here, everybody don't say it. Am I right? Yeah. But Yahweh has come to take out of the Gentile, out of the Gentile nation, a people. For his name. His name is important. That's my point. His name. That's why when the church started going baptizing. In the name. First thing. That's your mandate. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Alright? So the name here we see. And he said after this. And this agreed the words of the prophet which was in, As it is written. After this. I will return. And will build Again, everybody say again. again. The tabernacle of David, yes. which is falling yes. down, and I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up, yes. that the residue of men might seek after the Lord, and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called. So the same mandate the Holy Spirit allowed back in the Old Covenant, we see it being flowed over in the new covenant because what is the tabernacle of David? And we're going to do a series of that because that is one of the other prophecies that is yet to be fulfilled in the Gentiles. The, 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 the raising up again of the tabernacle of David. Why after the name? Because the tabernacle of David it is really Solomon Temple. And the worship that went into Solomon Temple must now be carried out by the people who carry the name of Hallelujah. God. And Solomon Temple was the purest worship that was ever in the earth. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit comes from their bed and bed by the church. But in Solomon Temple, that's why the worship was so important. Remember now, Solomon carried on everything according to his father David. That's right. Mm -hmm. A man after the heart of Yahweh. Yes. And so the worship, all of the feast days, all the holy days and the Sabbath, it was when the people would come to the temple and in these season, in these days. And when Yahweh is saying, I will take the people out for my name, now that, that people is his temple. That temple is not one in half. We are that temple. When I will take a people out of the Gentile, remember he ain't talking about nothing built with no animal. That people is his what? His temple. His temple. It's a temple, everybody. Because he's living in people. Yes. So he wore his name in some temple he will take out of the Jews. But now, not only these, his name will be in his temple, but these people, after he will take them out, he will bring true worship. Come on, somebody. And they will worship after the form of David. What happened in David Tabernacle? Yes. They worship the way. See, the church we have now, they do it Christianity way. Yes. They keep a different kind of feast. Yes. But they say, I will raise it up and I will have true worship in the earth again. Yes. May the people will come before me on my holy days. Yes. Hallelujah. The nation will worship and serve me on my holy days. Yes. Not on Easter, not on Christmas, yes. not on Sunday. But they'll come and I will model this nation before nation. So when Hallelujah. I come, Give it all excuse. Yes. In my presence. Some will be sheep nation. Some will be goat nation. Yes. 
Are you setting up the righteous nation? So that the nations will see. I want you to know that we live in this nation. This nation that we live is going to be that nation. We've been called for that. Now, this, this cannot happen until the judgment of God. It cannot, because right now, Satan run it. Babylon run it. The gates of hell is prevailing in this nation. Come on, somebody. Yes. But y'all is raising the people in the place where the gates of hell are not prevailing. Because he got come back to some place Satan is still in charge of. So the Holy Spirit is preparing the people that are here. The people that are preparing the people that are in the place are the name and the coming of the most high. That's what God is doing in your foot now. Yeah. That is what Elohim is doing. Yeah. A people in a place, yeah. you all who know me, know that was a gift for years. Yeah. A people who have known people, higher yeah. nation. That is not a nation. But now it's a nation through the blood of Yeshua. It is this nation that should have look out and see. Yeah. Oh my God, what's going on over there? The prophet said, we have one song, songs from afar. Yeah. The prophet said, sing, shout, and praise yeah. from the islands. Yeah. Start jealousy yeah. from the islands. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Now, what is so important is the judgment hand of God. The judgment hand of God. Let's go to Isaiah 41. Let me show you something. The judgment, see, judgment is ahead of us. See, all this stuff that they are there, the God, that Satan go into the government, that have enough with it. That's right. Satan is trying to preempt what Yahweh's called these mountains for. He's bringing the what? Dunkanu Kanal. Canality. You know the word Kanal will come from Canality. Everybody knows that, right? Then listen to it. It's a word that comes from Khan, Kanal. Kanal. I hear uh, the, boy, the rich boy from Life Wiki, what's his name? Um, the one who lived on the key. My God. My God. My God. Saying, saying yesterday on the hour show, the day before yesterday, that hey, it's a good time for the woman to display their bodies and stuff like that. Hmm? What, what a sight. That ain't what these mountains were called for. No, no. These mountains were just called to sing Shout unto Yahweh. Shout unto Yahweh. Yes. And praise yes. unto Yahweh. But Satan now all of us come for us because he know. He know what this place is all about. He also know this is a season. You see, this is happening. Don't sleep now. Why do you take count of what is happening in between two blood moments? Why do you take it as being released now than any other time? When Yahweh is speaking to his season in the air, the atmosphere, we are smart out between two blood moons. And the nations are drunk as to why Yahweh now is speaking to what the Bible is saying. But they don't understand it because it must come from among the people. It must come. It can't come from afar. The word to explain that must come from among the people. So I know when he spoke to me two years after the death of Dr. Monroe, I knew he opened up my spirit. He said, I want you to put everything in the book that I have been showing you and release it to the world. Yeah. But it's not because of him, it's because of the timing of the blood. He died and sink on the blood one because I, I caused the nation to, to hear a bite in his death. Mm. Israel of the nation. Of all the nations we've been talking about, what happened? Israel of all the nations, they looked at the Bahamas, yes. giving credence to Dr. Miles. Yes. Um, yeah. I think it was Sister Bell who said, or somebody who said that they had a memorial to Miles. Yeah. I know I forgot memorial. Yeah. I know the United States, all three nations of America had memorial. Yeah. But I never knew Israel had memorial. Yeah. But Israel yeah. had a memorial. Yeah. Not only that, some of you all don't know, just Thursday, the celebration happened for two days. And a Jew came into this place with a white cap on the on Tracy Moon Line 11, not the picture, right? He came in to the island, came into Capstone Ministry. And this ministry, you know what it is? 
Operation Tashish. Take it from Isaiah 69. The eyes shall be for me. The two encapsulated this 11 o'clock on the first day of the carnival. First day. On Friday, we was Glen Road Church breaking bread. We had a Jew. Some of the members being here. Just think about it. Or oh, was it no coincidence? No. Y'all remember saying to that experience that hey, fret not yourself. I in charge of this. Yeah. I in charge of this thing. Yes, I ain't wicked. No coincidence. Mm -hmm. Never in the history yeah. has a Jew came here with Isaiah 69 on the card, Operation Tarsus. He didn't come to me. Nope. But God, the Father will always use a brother by the name of God. Hallelujah. Like he bring Apostle Cox, he bring That's everybody. Because right. he understands what time it is. Right. And the brother was here, and we had a great time. He'd been here for three days. The same three days, the carnival right. was. And Lee on Saturday. Right, right in this church. Mm -hmm. First time. Yeah. Just think about that. No coincidence. I want you to know that Yahweh understand and what you hear this prophet say will be fulfilled. And there we are. Doesn't I walk like a Christian leave my job just walking because I want to do it? No. I'm going to want to better than by now. Anybody who knows me will tell you that. When I leave in short, I was a man to make around fifteen hundred dollars a week. I can show you what. One of the best salesmen. Check the record if you don't believe me. I'm still here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yahweh is calling my life. How me walking crazy as I am? Yes. I can't help it. You hear me? I can't help it. People don't understand. Can't help it. My life is a drink offering. Sometimes I see that basket pass round. It ain't me that I can't go to my pocket and take it out. But in the suffering of my venture, I take him anyhow. And he says, son, you are a priest. I'll call you as a priest. I'll put you in that basket. You yourself have been sacrificed. I can't move. I'd love to do more. And I know if I was watching the things you haven't revealed to me, I couldn't get it if I had a wife and a family. So he take my family from me, a big sacrifice. Let me tell you, when God is going to use a man, yeah. you must have that mark in your life where you sacrifice something. Yeah. He requires sacrifice. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it's important that people despise me because of the sacrifice that God called me to. Hallelujah. They don't understand. No. They don't understand. Mm -hmm. But look. Let's go to Isaiah 41. <laughs> Let's go to Isaiah 41. Let me show you something here. There's a judgment that is coming. Isaiah 51. Because all of what in this country, all of this, all of that stuff that you see that's established in the country, but kind of, it's going to be washed away. Hallelujah. Wash it away. Domination. Keep silence before me, Wilds, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come here, then let them speak. Wait, we will have a lot of time to speak. Let us come here together to judgment. The Isles is the place of judgment. Now, I don't want you to read Isles and Voice 5. Go down to Voice 5. Well, I don't always show you. Because this Bible is not a storybook. A little here and a little there. Right. Listen. The eyes saw it. What do you think of it? The judgment. The eyes saw it. And what happened? The ends of the earth were afraid. You near and came. Let's cut from them part the way. They're going to see Yahweh Ham. There's a, this whole place called Bahamalan, the original garden of God, Hallelujah. will be revived. Yeah. Will be changed. Yeah. The water talk about the garden of the sea, the desert of the sea. 
God was going to raise it up again. Yes. I was laying down and writing. Yes. And the Holy Spirit said to me, Say, son, let's go to, before I say that, go to, go to um, 42. Let's go to 42. I'm going to walk you through this quickly. I'm going to walk you through this. See him? 42 start with it, you know. He said, I'm 41. Behold my servant, whom I have called, man, he left. You know, my soul did I. I have put my spirit upon him, and he shall bring forth judgment. Not to the world, to the Gentiles. Not to the world, no. to the Gentiles. This scripture is misunderstood in the church today. He will bring judgment unto the Gentiles. Was three, three that a bruised root shall he not break, and the smoking flat shall he not break. Now listen, what do you say here? Was three. He shall bring forth judgment unto what? Truth. The judgment that is going to come. The old wicked system of Babylon. What it's saying that the whole world to see is political, economic, and religious system must be judged so that truth, say to everybody, truth. and righteousness will come forward in the earth. Now, go to back to Isaiah 26, and let me show you something. Isaiah 26 and 9. Read. My soul, with my soul, I have desired thee in the night. Remember this judgment of the truth? We read that Isaiah, the first part of Isaiah 26, opened the gate, verse 2, say that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Now, I told you before, you can't get the truth without the law. Don't let nobody fool you. And you shouldn't live it. The truth is the law. Even righteousness can't come without the law. Because you should die that we came with the righteousness of the law. The walk hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. He died that we would tell you the righteousness of the law. Yeah. Yeah. The walk hand in hand. Yeah. See, huh? Look here. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I see thee on early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. It cannot happen, and the islands will set as the place to show the Gentile nation the judgment of God because he can come back to the earth and tell the church is glorified, Hallelujah. meaning that they are having dominion and they are not being dominated. Hallelujah. Can't come back to the feet of church. Cannot. That's why he said his Holy Spirit. We will have wealth. We will have health. Yes. The abundance of the sea and all those good stuff will be getting ready. We may get ready. We may also get ready. Because God is getting ready to prepare a feast for his people in the midst of his enemy. Yes. And it's the judgment that will bring it all about. Yes. And it's going to be in the place that will cause us to say, wait a minute now. We thought God was all to ourselves. But I see the blessings of Abraham on the Jew, the Gentile church. Okay. I see the blessing. What are they saying? And in the midst of that, not only they see the blessing, you know, they'll see the power. Say power, everybody. Power. The power, power of God, Elohim, of all him, because this former and latter rain, this double portion anointing that is coming to the earth. Yes. Yes. It's what I've been telling you guys all about. Yeah. And it's coming right to this place. Right. Yeah. You know why? Because I in this place telling you about it. Hallelujah, Hallelujah somebody. Prepare the people in the place yeah. for the name and the coming of Almighty Yahweh. Mm. This message what you hear must now be preached to all the world. Yeah. You know why? You should sure wonder. You say, he inhabitants and dwellers of the earth. Yeah. Yeah, he. Yeah, he. When he Set up an ensign on the mountain and blow a trumpet. Listen and hear what the trumpet is saying. Because it's important, I'm going to perform it. Listen, you inhabitants of the iron dwellers of the world, listen. Because I'm putting an ensign on the mountain. 
And yeah, what message will be going forth from the Zanzine? Let's get to it. You know one of the crazy messages? The judgment of God. And the judgment of God, I want you to go close to this. Saints of Yahweh, you know this is a hard word. But you can't be in cast on. Children, this is going to set you apart. Hey, right. Now, look at it. Go to Isaiah 28. No, Isaiah 51. I'm keeping on telling you. Isaiah 51. Isaiah 51. Isaiah 51. Listen. Hearken unto me, my people, and give up unto me, O my nation, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a while. That's the light to the Gentile now. The judgment is going to bring about the light. The light that will lighten the Gentile will come about as the what? Judgment. What words? Wait right there. Wait for. And I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. In other words, what I'm going to do will come about as a judgment. Hear me today. You better hear me today. My righteousness is there because the judgment is going to be about. My salvation is going forth. Yeshua is there, is for forth. And my arms, I got some right in here. You get ready for me. I'm going to go. Shall judge the people. God is raising the arms, that's plural. Yeshua is the ARM, but the arms are the sons of God. And he's raising up. In this nation. Yeah. Listen, yeah. and my arms shall judge the people. The eyes here shall wait upon me. Because that is where the judgment will happen. You are very heavy. The eyes gonna wait upon me because that's my coming. The performing that will bring for the light to the nations. You already hear what the spirit is saying, yeah? Listen. And he said, and I and the eyes shall wait upon me, and on my who? As Yeshua. Singular. Shall they trust? Are we ready to trust Yeshua? Not accept what we see, what we understand, all the circumstances, what Satan has us dropping up every day. You know what the Holy Spirit showed me? In the church today, right now, the only message that is coming forth is to give people some ease inside, some peace, some kind of false peace. Everything. He said, Oh, yeah, they got them looking down. He said, Look it up. And they just ruffle their stairs and all the pastors to preach. Oh, oh, the storm is over. And this is that. And the next is that. And he got them busy looking down at the circumstances. They take the eye of the shoe, all they do is get for. But Yahweh is raising up a people who understand that tricking went along. That's why I would preach in an old season the word he gave me. This is not a place they're going to come together in. So, Robert, the whole is more than that. Yahweh wants to come. He wants his bill to be done in the earth. Bless Yahweh. Praise his holy name. There's a lot of that again. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a place for that. No. Why do you think I don't go around laying hands on people like that? That ain't what it's all for friends of Paul. There's a form of lot of income. Where do you want to do that? Uh -huh. I'm going to pray that in. Yeah, we're going to get the glory for it. Yeah. Not what me about me or you or this pastor that one trying to push people down, trying to get signs from one <laughs> Not me. Not me. Yeah. No. Yeah. Our job is like, yeah. they're praying God, they go on with me. And they pray yeah. with the mind of Yahweh. They knew what he wanted. They come in agreement. Yeah. We talked about being of the same mind and the same judgment. Yes. Then Yahweh will going to boost on you. Tell you, because you understand, you know what you want to do. When the power comes, you 
all but nothing wrong with sense. Yes. Not in religion. Not in deception. Not even not knowing his name. Not have my 
are one of the children of God. Now I know the sons of the children of God are going to come. I bless you, Father. I give you thanks. I give you thanks. So you have to be rightly divided. Hallelujah. Now, I want to show you this. The judgment. I can't leave this alone. Because the land was given for a covenant. You know, they want to say a covenant. A covenant. Oh, Lord. I don't pray. This, I'm coming back to this, you all are doing Because I got so much things to do before this year is out. But I wanted to do this series and to introduce you all to this. Go back to Isaiah, I have no to share. Thank you. I'll show you this judgment. See, apart from the being a light, it was given, the nation, the Gentile nation, was given for a covenant. I want everybody to say for a covenant. For a covenant. Oh, my I, the Lord, who call thee in righteousness, and I will put thy hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people. Say covenant of the people. Covenant. As we look at this, this covenant of the people. And you see, after you see, I'm going in there, eh? That's one of the things. For a life. We're going to break open this covenant. A covenant of the people. Go to Isaiah 49 quickly. I didn't. I didn't die. Remember, we just talked about Isaiah 49 6. All this is the same sermon. I'm just going to be for the sake of that. Thus saith the Lord. Verse 49 in it. In an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee. And I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth to cause to inherit the what? The desolate heritage. The desolate heritage. The de I will cause you, I'll give you the covenant to cause you to establish and inherit the what? Desolate covenant. This whole island base in desolation. Hallelujah. It's a reason why they call this place the Devil Triad. Mm -hmm. It's a reason why they believe and they know that Atlantis is here. Atlantis could only be in the Atlantic Ocean. That's why it's named Atlantis. Atlantic Ocean. The name tells you that it has to be associated with the Atlantic Ocean. The Bahamas is smart dash in the Atlantic Ocean. The roads are flying smart dash in the islands of the Bahamas. Yes. The devil triangle is flying a smart dash in the area of the Bahamas. Look at the Bermuda triangle. Yes. All were took place. And all that is found, most of it, is found in the vicinity of the islands of the Bahamas. It's a desolate place. Now, I want you to turn to Isaiah 26. The pyramids that are found are found in the area of the Bahamas. These pyramids ain't gone yet. Over the last 6,000 years. No, sir. no history shown of the pyramids that man are finding more than six in the islands of the Bahamas going there in the last 6,000 years. It had to go in there before Adam. Before. Before. If it ain't, then show me the history for it ain't going there. You see, those pyramids once the boat was on the earth, over the surface, then the land was gone. Yes. But God did it. It's evidence of the judgment that took place. Hallelujah. Part of the earth. You see, what scientists don't have because they reject the God of the Bible, the God of the creator of the earth, it is the spirit to help them to rightly divide the word of truth. But God has his end time prophet that will speak the day that was in the beginning and the end. So that that was in the beginning shall be fulfilled and established in the end. Where well, you see, when the earth was started, God heaven and God earth had fellowship. The heaven and the earth were connected. Yes. Lucifer sin, destroy it. He wanted to be at the most high. God said, oh yeah, bang, gone. Yes, it is that fellowship between heaven and earth that thou is bringing back in the end time. Hallelujah. We get to this talking about the joy we'll have. The 
the New Jerusalem of the top. We wouldn't need, hey, just to talk, think about it, you went to heaven. Then you get your new body. You're right back on earth. That, that is how it used to be before sin entered. The sin would destroy us today. We believe, although the scriptures say, it's Adam's sin, yeah. God put Adam here to get rid of Lucifer's sin. Lucifer was the first one who sinned. Lucifer caused darkness to be on the face of the earth. God rise up again and said, Adam, I put you here to restore him. Bring it back. Bring it back. This is because by fallen sin. You don't believe me? Lucifer come to the Adam and Eve as a sinner. He come, he deceived and he was done the enemy of God. Then he fall. Hallelujah. Then he fall. There, there. It had to be before Adam. We had to be kicked over heaven before Adam. Where? Let me tell you. Right here we begin. Right here we begin. Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh. I'm going to tell you why I believe. Let's go. As I from here. See, it would be wrong for me to teach this message any place yeah, this meat, this meat, For my children. For my children. See, y'all know they're going to be on me. No. I'll say your five capstone. All right. Capstone. Say no more. Now, I can talk about capstone right back. The capstone. What you all think is just a name. No! Let me read about your church right here in the book. Because, verse 15, they did. Because he have said, we have made a covenant to a covenant. Remember I was telling you about the covenant? So he caused us to have to establish the devil's going to inherit it. Watch this covenant. With that, the covenant that what we were talking about is the covenant that was made with death. Made with death. My God, that got all us looking old before our time. Oh, Although you sure come 2,000 years, we still dying. We still dying in the red. You know why? Because the last enemy death is not yet destroyed. Come on, come on. But it's man who brought it upon us, Adam for his man. And it's man who was taken off us. They cause it. Y'all only said it's Holy Spirit to help us to get through the way. Hallelujah. Now, read here. He said, because you have said, we have made a covenant with death and with hell. Are we, are we an agreement? When the overflow is overflow, is courage. One coming to this nation shall pass through. It shall not come unto us. For we have made ourselves a refuge. And under false how we hid ourselves. Deception. All over the world. Now watch this. Therefore, thus says Yahweh. Behold, listen. I lay my heart physically. Lays in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a corner stone, a cap stone. Yes. You know what that cap stone is? It's a parent. It's a cornerstone. It's a capstone. It's a pyramid. Now the church only take away this represent Yeshua. You know why? I agree. It speak to Yeshua, but it speak more than to Yeshua. And you'll find that in the voices that follow. Read on. He said, judgment said judgment, everybody. Judgment. Also will I lay to the line. The line of what? Is that only a show of the line of what? It's the pyramid. What he laying Zion? See, if Israel could find me some pyramid in her eye, not just set in Egypt, then they could qualify to be his Zion that is talking about. Hallelujah. And they could show me the stone for God's eye, my eye, in Zion. Then they could qualify for this original sign that I've been telling you guys about. Mm. Because he lay a stone there. Some mark the place. I lay. 
the Holy Spirit, I'm writing this book. I'm in the process right now. And the Holy Spirit said to me, son, remember when I showed you that they said it'll come from five, they'll do that, the people will come. Mm -hmm. I buy and was five, I buy 41 and five. Mm -hmm. He said, do you know? They will see this stone because I'm going to bring it up. To mark this place and written it before. See what I'm telling you? He said, yeah. before they come to pass, I tell you again. Yeah. He said, and then they're going to believe. Yeah. See, this, this is what is judgment. Judgment is going to reshape the land. And the stone, the cornerstone that God laid in his hand is going to show up. We've been talking about religious tourism. But the tourism that is going to come, they're going to come to see the stone that God hand laid. God said, God said, son, they will come to this place to see the stone that my hand laid. Think about that! See, a lot of know when you study the stone, was the altar of God. Yes. It is the altar yes. of God. It's where the sons of God used to sing yes. and shout for joy. That's why in Isaiah 11 it says, sing, shout, the islands of the sea. Because it's the same place. It's going to happen. And the people that come because this is going to be the worship center. The, 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 the Muslim go to the Mecca for worship and the believers that come to the Bahamas for praise. So let me show you something here with this company. The stone, God had laid. It's under the water. He laid it in the very beginning before Adam. He didn't make a full base. He said, son, I want you to release this message and cross the world. I tell them to hear what I'm saying. It's going to come up. In the judgment, it's going to come back. Then the world can look. See, Israel got the attention on the Bahamas. The world can look. And they can see this stone. We go on our way. They can fall to these islands. Our borders, we're going to have to. Because the anointing going to be on this place. Oh, when the end of this place, hey. all the people are going to be righteous. Yeah, yeah. In this nation, because the United States destroyed every up for a short time. Take four days, everybody. Days. This is going to happen before you have a settlement, millennial kingdom. For a thousand year rule, before you leave the dispensation of the Gentile, he's going to raise up a nation. That other nation, as a result of what he see in this nation, will come to him. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 They will come to know the truth. Yes, they will come because there will be people who will worship. Yeah. Spirit on him. So, it went on to say, judgment. Also, I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet. That's the measuring line. Same thing. And the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. It's talking about this storm. It's covered with water right now, brothers and sisters. It's under the water. The storm will get there and lay inside a corner storm. It tries to, it points to Yeshua. But now when you read on, you see, they study that way stone is literally talking about rock and monument. Listen, it tells you to talk with little rock. All right? Now, what is it in? See ya? And your covenant, say your covenant. Say covenant, everybody. With that, be disannoyed. Shall be disannoyed. No more. And agreement no with heaven shall not stand. It is from the stone Hallelujah. that the agreement with death and hell was established mm -hmm. when Lucifer sinned. Mm -hmm. It is from the stone mm -hmm. where the sons of God used to come and sing for joy. And Lucifer wanted to be like the most high God. The Bible says he was under the clouds. And he said, Man, I can go. And I can go to heaven. But there was the place where he led the worship from. <coughs> and say so he wanted to be. So God judged them. And that's where the first sin came in. Darkness covered the earth. Then a couple of thousand years, who knows how long it been there. He'd bring Adam out, bring it up again. And bring up the islands and the wreckness in the ocean. To tell the story from. Hallelujah. To tell the story in the middle there. <laughs> And he, in the fullness of time, he brings up people in fellowship and put them on the virus. Right 
Then we come across in the belly of the ship. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah, Slave yeah, descendants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm right here to tell the yeah, true story. Yeah. So what's happening here now? Judgment will be death. The judgment, the death, the coming of the death yes, yes. will be the Sanaa. Not where God will break it. Yes, hallelujah. And the cream of the head uh -huh. will be no more. Yes, yes. Because that's sin now. The last enemy death, in other words, will what now be? Destroyed. Yes. That's why it said in this mountain, death will be swallowed up in victory. That's the same mountain hey. that the stone mark in Zion was under the water. Yeah. Oh, so the covenant of death will be broken. Yeah. When death will be swallowed up in victory. Yeah. Well, in this mountain, not only one word. No, this mountain. It is these signs, hear me, that Israel will see Yahweh doing. Because death will be swallowed up in the name of Yeshua. He's going to glorify his name in the islands. What does it mean by death being swallowed? We have called many people to life, but not of the grave. Say, not of the grave. We have yet to see. I believe I'm going to the grave after my life, Yeshua, for four days. And call death. Or call the dead over the grave. So that's why I say, death and sure. See right here? And your covenant with death shall be this not, and your agreement with hell, that's the grave, yeah, and she shall not stand. In other words, you go down, and in the name of Yeshua, you display the power that is coming in the double portion of the And you display the power where the world will see these remnant people who can believe what I'm saying. Because if you can't believe it, forget it. You can't follow that. Mm -hmm. You gotta be crazy enough to believe yes. it. Mm -hmm. You gotta have your head. That's why you're gonna be a foolish nation. It's a foolish nation. Who are going to do this work? A crazy nation. Yes. They're going to call it. But they will believe. And crazy and foolish together. But you're crazy now. But you're foolish now. We're going to be a foolish people in a foolish place. You're going to do the great exploits. You're going to go to the grave. Double portion of money. The fulfill the promise. You're going to say death will be on our feet. Grave, that's your sin. Death, that's your sin. Oh, grave, that's your victory. Grave still have the victory over the believers. Oh, yeah, you're sure. 2,000 years ago. But before he come, for oh, six, I mean, we got to be ready for this letter. Yes. You cannot be the capstone. <laughs> the capstone, what Satan is playing on the, on the door, I don't understand that. My that is raised from the rest of the stone, and the eye, the singer, pointing out a glory and a power. The eye is singing, the body is yes. full of life. Yes. You'll be full of the glory of God. Hallelujah. And you'll be, you'll be a son of God. Son. This yes. power that is coming, that the glory. feast of the blood moon is pointing to, in the sky, it's released that double portion anointing. Hallelujah. On the people who understand this time is seizing, seizing, and are ready to redeem. They ain't afraid of it. Because when it comes, they'll say like Peter and they're go, this is that, this is that. See it, yeah? See it, yeah? Then he say to do the mountain. Well, this is the mountain. See it, yeah? See the story right up behind there? See it, yeah? See it, yeah? What is under the water? Then the scripture said, don't ever be found and discovered. These are prophecies that prophecy ain't touching. Yeah. Because they haven't been raised up to do it. Hallelujah. 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 No. That's why we call ourselves Capstone. Hallelujah. Yeah. We must match that. Yeah. We must become that people. Yeah. We must become that place. Uh, and understand why we must become that people in that place. Yeah, that? Extend your hands. Extend your hands. Yeah. Father. Oh, we bless you today. Yeah. Your Holy Spirit is coming to walk yeah. in the people. Yeah. 